Agricultural officials are concerned that frequent acts of predial larceny at its Mirabeau propagation station in St. Andrew will affect plant availability and food security. A plea for community involvement and vigilant policing has been issued to combat the inconsiderate and unlawful of harvesting of produce at Maribo, where organized instances of theft have been observed. The Maribo propagation station has suffered multiple incidents of theft, resulting in the loss of water nuts, ginger and sweet potatoes, with the most recent incident occurring on Wednesday. Approximately two weeks ago, four beds of sweet potatoes were unlawfully harvested at the station and another attempt was made on five additional beds containing fully grown potatoes ready for market. Fortunately, these were intercepted by the station security personnel. Nigel Gibbs, the supervisor of propagation at the station, is urging the community to assist in addressing this threat to the country's food security. Because there's normally a lot of talk about poor management and, and, and the Ministry of Agriculture not doing its part, but the community has to also play a role in ensuring that the food security is something that, that is kept, is maintained and that is well managed. And so we have people and they time it, normally Thursday, Friday's market day starts into the weekend and normally these are the days that we get hit. So even when we step up the village, it's 40 acres and we normally have one watchman on duty at a time and we will rotate them. So definitely the authorities will have to relook the strategy. One, the community um, will have to assist with the policing of the compound and probably, not probably, but report these activities because we firmly believe that it is happening right in the Maribo Saab community. As the 2024 plant distribution season is set to commence in just one week, Gibbs emphasized that the theft of produce from the station will restrict the availability of planting materials intended for farmers. These materials typically serve to provide essential resources to the public for their agricultural endeavors. So they come here with impunity, they disrupt all of the functions and eventually it has a serious negative, significant negative impact on the overall production of the, the, the station and for the food security because now we having to, for the last three weeks, I've been having to tell farmers come back next week, come back because we didn't have rain. We get the rain, we've been doing some fertilization, the vines now start to run, but of course the product really, the secondary product is the potatoes. And we would normally um, bring it to the homes, sell it, you know, um, and give to the hospitals and so on and all of that now is being interrupted and this seems to be a repeated attack so it is somebody who is well versed of what is happening here and they're probably looking at the watchmen's movement so that they can target the compound in fact just down the road they put a stone a big boulder in the road so that the watchman who normally comes up with his vehicle um, he wouldn't be able to pass a report will be filed to the rgpf and a plea for heightened police presence on the farm will be submitted. Furthermore, the station urges livestock farmers to ensure proper tethering of the animals to prevent impoundment. Gibbs emphasizes that the growth and development of crops at the station are often hindered by the presence of stray animals. Even after sending multiple warnings, persons still believe that they can just have the animals untethered and it's causing our production to be impacted in a neg negative manner because while we're trying to produce these planting material in our jump plaza and we have animals grazing of course we have cattle here and from time to time one may get untied but that is is, is minimal what we've had um, the whole of last week week before in the dry periods macho goats young goats the kids running amok in our jump plaza um, and all warnings to the owner or owners went unheeded um, and in fact they took no action to remedy the situation. So these are some of the challenges we're having and it's all right on the plateau. 